Hi, uh, I'm in a small herb garden uh, beside the Archbishop's Palace in Maidstone this morning. Uh, you can see pretty snowy morning. Um, one of Turner's favourite sketching spots is very close to this point. It's, uh, it's just over there, uh, the other side of the river that you got to via a small ferry. Turner did an early sketch, probably about 1790-91 from that spot, uh, of St Peter's Church. Uh, and then he came back in 1798 for this watercolour of Maidstone Bridge, done from much the same spot. Uh, it was one of a series of, of views along the Midway. He did over the course of that, uh, that summer, that late September 1798. The watercolours themselves um, are in a great interest, but they are highly significant and for one reason and one reason alone. And that is that they provide evidence that Turner was here and on the Medway generally in September 1798. And in providing that evidence they answer a curious question about Turner and the Temeraire, which is why was he quite so attached to that particular ship? Well maybe the answer is that Turner saw the Temeraire not when she was being scrapped but when she was being launched. I've got a copy here of the September the 4th 1798 issue of the Maidstone Journal, um, the local paper of the time. Turner may well have read a copy of that paper while sitting here in this garden sort of taking a break from sketching. Uh, now on page two there's a small advertisement for a ball in Rochester to celebrate the launch of a, of a ship at Chatham Dockyards. Um, Rochester and Chatham are about two hours downstream from here, maybe just one hour if you take the coach and go over the hill. Uh, now that's a, that's a short, that's not even a walk for Turner. September 1790 is a key year for Turner and the country generally. Uh, the same paper that had that ad about the Rochester Ball was also carrying news about Nelson's victory at what became known as the Battle of the Nile. Um, there's treason in the air, there's been a recent treason trial actually in Maidstone in 1798. Um, and at home, Turner's mother is sort of deteriorating, she, she'll soon be committed. Uh, and he's lobbying hard to get elected to the Academy. So, febrile atmosphere and a lot of pressure on Turner, he attends the launch of the Temeraire and he and the Temeraire just get, if you like, hammered together. There's one other reason why the Maidstone sketches specifically and the spot that Turner drew them from are interesting. To get to that spot, Turner would have to have uh, walked down this hill and crossed via a small ferry which used to run between the two banks. Now, at the top of the hill is Knight Rider House. It's now an NHS building, but then lived in by one William Shipley. Shipley's actually buried uh, in the western corner of Maidstone Churchyard, and I recommend you Google him. I'll have a look on Wikipedia. He's, a, he's an interesting chap. Um, now, there are lots of reasons why Turner would have wanted to talk to Shipley and Shipley to Turner in 1798. They had a lot to exchange, um, but from our perspective, 200 years later, well, Shipley connects Turner basically with the birth of feminism. Through Shipley, we can connect Turner, the birth of modern art and maybe the first modern artist, with the birth of feminist thinking, specifically that uh, women and girls should receive the same education as men and boys, uh, which at the time was radical. Now that collision between the birth of modern art and modern artists and the birth of feminism that's quite interesting.